Hey guys, today we're gonna be looking into something special. We're actually gonna be looking into Battlefield 6 having AI bots, which would be amazing. Um, I'm gonna react to this video. Definitely be sure to subscribe if you're new, because we're gonna be staying here for a year or so. Hang in there. So let's look at this. See, thank you for clicking on this. This is a video from Vasi. If you go on to anywhere, we can find them be it from supposed leakers or by even looking to the past. That's what I would like to do today. You lads have let me know th All right, let's skip this ahead a little. Battlefield 1 in a short promo video for The Division. On the surface, these bots mightn't be too impressive. I mean, all they're doing right now is running around. But when you compare them to bots found in older games, well, it's a different story. These new bots know when they need to reload, when they need to heal, or when they need to go seek out. This is actually crazy. This is like advanced AI for video games. Um, they could definitely add some bots and make the huge battlefields, or they could just add it for single player, right? Out ...some ammunition. They play the objective. They help each other out. What's crazy though is these bots, or agents as they're referred to, actually learn. Rather than be hardwired to do certain things at certain times, like most characters, such as single player a AI bots, these seed bots learn from what they've done in the past. According to the voiceover and the article that accompanied this video, the bots learned how to play the objective. They weren't told how to do it, they just learned like a human would. What's really interesting though is how the video comments on how they believe this AI learning will improve gaming and game development in years to come. You should know as well that the bot- This is really good, but always at the end of the day, there's all in multiplayer, there's always going to be against online players, right? This could be great feature when you have them um, out of the map, for example, but other than that, I, I, don't, I don't see it. It's showcased in the video had around 300 days of gameplay experience. That's a mixture of AI versus humans and AI versus AI, like we're seeing here. 300 days is quite a long time though, and while this is clearly a technical achievement, since nothing like this has ever been done before, unless some serious progress has been made in the last three to four years, these bots have a lot more to learn before they could take on an entire they'll definitely, human team. They'll definitely probably just develop more for bots and uh, I'm sure it won't be a big issue, to be honest, because they will work a lot on it. With that said, maybe that's okay. To be honest, they have like a year to develop these bots, so it's gonna be fine. Maybe these seed-powered AI bots can be introduced to Battlefield 6 in a completely different way. Not in the way we all expect to see them. When Magnus Norden, technical director at Seed, was asked about the practical use of this technology right now, he gave this response. Our short-term objective with this project has been to help the DICE team scale up its quality assurance and testing, which would help the studio to collect more crash reports and find more bugs. In future titles, as deep learning technology matures, I expect self-learning agents to be part of the games themselves as truly intelligent NPCs that can master a range of tasks and that Imagine, imagine 256 player battles with 128 player bots. That would be fucking crazy. Adapt and evolve over time as they accumulate experience from engaging with human players. That's mind-blowing stuff if you ask me. Maybe with Battlefield 1, they were dummies running around reloading and healing. Maybe with Battlefield 6, they'll be used in testing to find map exploits and try out weapon balance changes. And then maybe in 2024 when Battlefield 7 comes out, we'll get next generation bots that could convince us they're actually human. We've entered the era of the live service, the constant updates and the ever-changing gaming landscapes. Updates are rolled out more and more and if we look back, not very long ago, to Battlefield 5, some of the worst decisions of the entire franchise were made. Particularly when it came That's to true. gunplay and weapon damage values. In the past, changes were tested with a select few people from the community over on the community test environment. But without the CTE, updates are just slapped onto the live game. If these seed AI-powered bots or agents could be trained enough, 
Maybe DICE could use them to monitor how certain weapons perform, whether or not certain guns are used in their optimal ranges, how many bots per server run certain weapons and gadgets and attachments. It wouldn't be enough to base decisions on these bots, obviously, but it might I mean, give the developers... I mean, it gives them like a hope right now, but it could potentially be really good. That bit more information before dropping it into the live game. Just to finish up here, I wanted to share this question posed to Magnus as well. Will self-learning agents ever beat professional first-person shooter players? Nah, not never, because there's so many things, unless they have like some sort of aimbot, it's really hard to beat a professional pro player because you have like tactics unless they unless it takes like 20 years where they have to learn the best mechanics to actually run around a path and stuff like that they can never actually beat the pros if so when with the risk of going out on definitely a 20 a years at least prediction i think it's reasonable to expect ai agents capable to defeat human players in a limited competitive mode one that features smaller maps focused teams and clear objectives in a couple of years from now. However, at Seed, we're not necessarily out to build AI that will defeat human players. Our aim is to help create new experiences that in the traditional sense, but maybe more behind the scenes with testing and bug tracking. Think yeah, we definitely need bots that help help the game not actually ruin it. That would be awesome, to be honest. About it. If there's a bug on one of the multiplayer maps that can be exploited to say, crash the entire server you lighting they were super kind all right it's really nice to be honest i like this video um let me know of your opinions here i definitely think these bots um are something just to test really the things uh the ai bots could also be used in single player because they actually prove you know so we already had battlefield 5 we already had battlefield 1 stuff you know and we could definitely use these bots to see how they perform in single player, if single player AI is better, especially if you're playing on harder difficulty, uh, where it's legit, you know what I mean? But we're gonna not see these things for a long, long time. So Battlefield 7, here we come. Um, well, a few more things I wanna talk about these bots is, these bots are something that's not probably gonna be added to multiple. We haven't seen bots for a long time. We've seen like in Battlefield 2, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this is completely fine, in my honest opinion. Bots aren't really made for multiplayer because players are playing too fast. If we had bots in multiplayer and they weren't like really good, people would just be getting free kills. Why would it matter if there were bots there? It would they would they would just be there as a filler to have max number of players. It really makes no sense, you know, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this and this fan sign out. Be sure to subscribe.